5,000 inhabitants were without power today as a power blackout affected the entire country. It occurred early this morning and the power was finally restored as the BPT does not wish to comment on the reason for the power. An employee says that there was an unknown intrusion into the BPT computer system. Unauthorized commands were issued. This information has not been confirmed. The total cost of the blackout is estimated at 82 million euros. On a normal working day in mid-May, an attack is being orchestrated with a medium amount of knowledge and experience of how to exploit vulnerabilities and to penetrate systems and computer networks. A computer hacker initiates his plan. Using an exploitation tool found readily available on the internet and an unsuspecting operator's lack of training and experience, the following scenario unfolds. The transmission system operator is responsible for the operation of the country's electrical grid. One of the operators in the control room at the TSO has not undergone security training and is not fully aware of the company's security procedure. He is about to connect his workstation to the internet. It's the night shift which he typically works all alone in the control room. He often uses a popular social media site to chat with his friends and to surf the internet during long night shifts. The attacker understands that the grid is controlled from the national utility from a central control room. It is fairly easy for him to find people who are employed in the national utility and he begins to search social media sites for such persons. He soon realizes that a particular operator is usually online through the night. The attacker has found a tunnel into the control room. This operator generally accepts just about any friend request on social media, and the attacker manipulates this to be added as the controller's friend. In a chat, his new friend sends him a malicious link. Unsuspectingly, the operator clicks on the link, allowing the attacker to exploit a security weakness in the Java runtime environment of the web browser. The attacker successfully utilizes this vulnerability to deliver a VNC payload, which enables him to hijack the operator's session. From his remote location, the attacker is now able to interact with the SCADA system as though he is a legitimate operator. The attacker monitors the operator's every move and he waits to strike when the operator ceases activity. He uses this to open high voltage breakers on the power grid, leading to a series of cascading events that result in a total blackout of the high voltage grid. Back in the control room, the operator is alerted by the audible alarms. Cascading overloads have taken place in the network and a national blackout has already occurred. The operator begins to analyze the events list and he finds, to his surprise, that commands appear to be initiated by him. It takes some time for him to understand that an attacker has used his workstation to send these commands and he telephones his superior. The manager comes to the control room and when he arrives, the decision is made to disconnect the SCADA system from the outside world. This action isolates the control room from the office network and the power grid restoration begins. Fortunately, the country has several hydro plants from which the restoration can be initialized. Starting with these hydro plants, they follow a predefined restoration scheme. And after 12 hours of careful step-by-step -step processes, finally manage to energize the entire high voltage grid. This video was produced by the Viking Research Project in cooperation with KTH Media Production. 
Financed within the European Union's seventh framework program, Viking studies cyber attack vulnerabilities in SCADA systems used for the supervision and control of electrical grids and proposes defenses. This video was executed and recorded on the Viking testbed and illustrates one of several Viking storyboards. The scenario was selected to show an easily understood potential attack path that's simple to mitigate by simply blocking direct internet access from SCADA workstations. Other versions of this attack and other types of attack could be more difficult to protect against. For more information about Viking, please visit www.vikingproject.eu.